belated, but belated, Merry Christmas. Belated, but Merry Christmas. Hope you're enjoying time with your family. And uh, we are here to answer your questions about marriage relationships. And as we have been doing all month of December, we've been talking about laughter because we all need laughter, especially around the holidays. But here is Proverbs 4.23. Solomon reminds us, above all else, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. And I really think that sometimes when we can laugh, when we can take time to be together as a husband and wife and laugh and enjoy each other, whether it's with the funny emails or watching a, a funny movie or a sitcom, whatever it is, you really, you, the cares of this world kind of fall away and you kind of forget about them for a little bit of time and you really just focus on each other and laughing with each other and it really can guard your heart, which is the wellspring of life, but I also think it guards your marriage. It's true. Now, I want you to, we're going to back up just a minute because Laura read something very interesting. These are the words of Solomon, okay? Um, arguably, history's wisest person ever. If you ask anyone who study, has studied history, they will say Solomon is the wisest person who ever lived, okay? The wisest person who ever lived said this, guard your heart because it's the wellspring of life. And I, he knew exactly what he was talking about. Because when we let things get to our heart, when we unresolved hurt, unresolved conflict, unresolved pain, um, it scars our heart. And we become bitter, we become angry, we become all those things we really don't want to be. And, and so <clears throat> laughter puts a, a wall around your heart. It really does. It, it, it can keep you from being hurt because you can laugh it off when some idiot says something about you that they really don't know. Um, it, it can guard your heart when you're having that disagreement and you realize, you know what, honey, let's talk about this another time because right now it, we're not making any progress. I really think that laughter can guard your heart. Um, <clears throat> there's no scientific evidence of that. There's no, <laughs> I, but you know, it really does. It, it gives us the ability to shake things off. Uh, the Taylor Swift song. You know, shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> okay, it, anyway. It, it let's does. Do this it gives us that ability. And, and, and during this Christmas season, when life's pressures are immense, uh, we really want to encourage you to guard your heart, for it's the wellspring of life. And when you have that wellspring of life within you, you can give it freely to those around you, which is what we want to do at Christmas time. Well, I also do want to say, though, that <laughs> there are things that in marriage are not easy to just laugh off. That there are things that you need to, but like Jay said, pick a time to talk about it. Don't talk about it in the heat of moment, heat of the moment. But pick a time where you are going to sit down and you're going to discuss those things that aren't just easily laughed off. But there are things that we get really bent out of shape about that are really, you know, the toilet paper, the toothpaste, those things that, you know, whether ice is water or not. <laughs> in your Starbucks tea, you know, those kinds of things. But when you can take that time and you can laugh, like Jay said, it is the wellspring, you know, it guards your heart from those times. You know, you don't want to stay bitter. You don't want to stay angry because then it does scar. But being able to go, you know what? Laughter can change my perspective. It can change my heart. It changes my chemistry. And at this time of the year, probably more than any other time of the year, we really need to take some time with our spouse and with our family to just laugh and enjoy each other and enjoy the reason that Jesus came to the manger. Merry Christmas.